Hello from Bryson City. It's time for another free art lesson. Um, today's lesson, we're going to be doing paper shapes. So when I started out, as you saw, here's my materials for today. You'll need a ruler. You'll need a pencil, glue stick or tape or both, and paper. I've got some couple sheets here that are loose on top that I'm going to start with. And if need be, um, I'll take off a couple more sheets. Also, scissors. Make sure you have a pair of scissors. They don't need to be super sharp, special, or anything like that. Um, if you are under under 10, uh, well, maybe more like under 7, uh, make sure you get an adult to help you with these. If you are um, my age, make sure that you don't run. Um, anyway, um, again, we're going to be doing this, so we'll be doing a couple shapes today. Um, if you all have any questions or anything, feel free to ask. I'll check as um, as we go, and um, we'll uh, we'll get started here in just a second. <clears throat> all right. see okay so to start for today uh, let's start by drawing I've got the ruler and um, what I'm gonna do is just measure it doesn't have to be exact but uh, I'm gonna go um, two inches I'm going to make a square. So the whole idea of paper shape. It's literally I'm going to them and them together to make a 3D form. So there's my first square. So in order to make a square, um, you got there a cube. You have to think how many sides there are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go another two inches down this way. And two another two inches this way. my line across so this is the I'm going to put an X here this is my original square there is a side turn back around this way and then I'm going to go here like that oh, make sure I get them lined up here <laughs> so one two all right side number three Side number four. Right. Let me go a little bit more this way so you can see. Okay. So as you can see, we have four sides. We have our bottom. Now we need a top. So what I like to do is wherever there's extra room, we're going to put one more for our top. So again, measure two inches. Two, 
two inches. Now, got them all done. Should look like a cross, whether it's, you know, whichever way. Um, what I like to do next is I'm going to draw some lines this way. For attaching. Same thing here again, we're going to go um, this way. hardest part about doing this is getting this initial uh, form out. So now that I've got these lines, you know, what you need to do is I would measure about a half. We have enough room. Half inch here. And then just connect these. They don't have to be perfect. These are your tabs for attaching. Same thing over here, half inch, half inch. So this will attach, this one will attach to here, this one will attach to here. Oh, and I almost forgot one here as well. Let's see. And then some tabs up here. Let's see on this one. I've got my helper with me today. Betsy is here. Um, I think. I think I'm going to let her cut this out. We'll see. I'm a terrible cutter. You're a terrible cutter. What do you mean you're a terrible cutter? But you make such wonderful art. Okay. So, now here's our finished cube. Let me slide this over so you can see it. So when we cut this out, we'll fold this up. And then voila, we'll have a box. <clears throat> so when we cut, we want to leave these attached. So I'm going to do this. Are you going to cut this or am I going to cut this? <laughs> I got the look. So I guess I'm going to cut it. Yes, you're going to cut it. All right, well, come over here. <laughs> come over here. So. And writing the morning softly. So. Cut into here, cut into here. Scissors? What did I do with that one? Oh, just, just cut it straight across. Like that? I'm stuck in pieces. Really. Yep. Just like that. Yep. Well, stay on the lines. It's on or outside the lines. That side. This one? A little bit more? Yeah. Very nice. All right. Here's a tight. Now cut. you can do it. <laughs> yeah. Let me I'm get the. Let me get this tight cut here. <clears throat> this is the hardest part about this is just cutting it out and make sure you get it perfect. Cut the right way. 
Let's go ahead and cut this extra off. Make it a little bit more manageable. Same thing here. Alright, just look like that. Did you cut it? You want some more? You want me to? I can keep cutting. Okay. Can you cut all the straight spots for me? Straight spots? Yep. Over yes, here. Yes, sir, dear. I want to cut that off. There we go. That's out of my face. <laughs> Come this way. If I keep cutting, I can get that straight. Yes, you can. All right, now just cut this off. Yep, and can you cut that little angle? Very carefully, very nice. All right, cut straight here. Are you going to get that? You gonna, You got it? I remember my teacher from my old school in the East told us to do small edges. Okay. Right. Oh, you're wiggling. I know, I'm wiggling this morning. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Okay. Up this off, yeah. Right here. Oh. Are you going to get that one first? Yeah, if your scissors aren't sharp, this is gonna this is gonna be tough Long. tough to do. <laughs> Long. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And trim. Oh. Cut this piece off, and then yeah. you'll be done. Dang it. Perfect. All right. A little fine detail <laughs> cutting. Get us there. One here. And a little bit more here. And right here. All right. So when you get through cutting, you should have a shape like this. So here's what we do. We start by folding on this line. Now, um, you fold like three, like my fingers and pinch, just like that. And there's number one. Same thing with the flaps. I'm going to go ahead and fold them down on the line. I don't usually crease them as much because I want them to push out. Okay. Trim that up. Trim what? Right here. Will you go ahead and pull me off about three pieces of tape? They're about as long as your index finger. And will you show everybody which finger is your index finger? Do you know? Yep. That's index right. finger. This long. So what is that? Two and a half inches. I don't like that. At some point when you guys get to the advanced level, I'll show you how to measure three inches. Um, those of you in the know, though, um, congratulations. All right. Now, fold, know. fold, fold. <laughs> oh, God, we're going up. I have to take a new piece. <laughs> look at it. Just look at it. Um, it, it helps if it's like, um, you know, usable tape. Okay. <laughs> There you gonna, go. Probably yeah. gonna give you way too much. Scraps. All right, fold, fold, fold. 
Once you get all your tabs folded, this is where the glue stick comes in. You got one. Cool. Put it right here for me. Before we get the glue stick, let's do a little quick cleanup of our work area. Pile all of our cuttings over there. We might need them again later. Don't wipe them away. Aww. Yeah, sorry. You have to, you have to, you have to wait. <laughs> So I'm just putting each tab, get it off my fingers, glue on the tabs. Glue on the tabs. Okay, so once you get your glue on the tabs, then you want to go ahead and fold and press. Fold and press. Fold. Just go ahead and fold up one side. Oop. This must not be very good glue. The other thing you can do is if you want, this is what the tape is also for. Um, this is just regular old masking tape. It's pretty. Scotch. Yeah. Scotch. Scotch brand. Uh -huh. Hello, Scotch brand. I'm... Uh, it's made in Canada. I know, I know it's made in Canada. So I'm going to say something about tape. Um, I know a lot about materials because of my various hobbies and stuff. stuff. You are, where are you shopping from? Like I'm trying to get. It seems like the older I get, the more picky I become about where things are from. There is a called Sure Tape. And they are based in North Carolina. They Their main production facility is in Hickory, North Carolina. And they also do, um, they also have a place in Hiddenite, North Carolina. So if you are wanting to be a tape snob and buy tape made in North Carolina, you can do that. Because it's made in Canada. Yeah, this is made in Canada. Canada, that's so far away. Canada. But we like Canada too. Yeah. I'd like to go visit Canada sometime. Wouldn't it be nice to visit Canada again? Again, I should say again. Let me say this. Wouldn't it be nice to visit places again? Canada would be on my list. France would be on my list. You want to go to France? Because I want to see Miss Flo again. Miss <laughs> Flo would be nice to take her and all. A little bit of tape but on these sides that I've already put the glue on and kind of shore them up. So here's what i got so far. Now I've got these three sides. Well, I said this glue. Let me put a little bit more glue on them because it feels like it's dried up some. All right. So I've got the glue on these. Glue. We're just gonna fold this down in here just like this. <laughs> And if you can, you gently press. Gently press. <laughs> My poor box. All right. And so there we go. Nice cube. If you want to, you could also, the other thing you could do, since the glue's not sticking, I've got a, I got a minute or two to show you this. You could have these tabs fold inside this way and leave this tab on the outside. If you made this longer, you could put a slot here and then insert tab into slot like a like a little takeout box. So, there you go. So. All right, so the next one using our paper scraps. We're going to do a cone, and so using this corner, I'm going to flip it over this way, corner, corner. If you flip it a little tighter, you can get a, a tighter cone, but you can make a cone like this. 
using the other piece here on the bottom, we will attach um, a bottom to it. So let me roll this again and tape it in place. So you get your cone like this. And then oh, we can fold here. Well, first of all, you got a little hat. But um, fun way, if you had some more of that sculpty or clay or Play-Doh or something, then you have your little ice cream cone. Um, you can also come through after you folded this over and straighten it up. Just over. This bottom piece, you cut out a circle and tape that. So let's do that real quick. Have a piece of tape, please. Sure, have a thing. That's fine. I'm fine. It's a tiny strip of tape. I'll make this work. Yes, you will. All right. And now I'm going to do this. So, a little bit of tape right here. I'm just going to get you a whole new thing, too. And then we just fold that over. My cone is not happy with me. <laughs> Why do you say that, Dad? Because it's trying to unroll. <laughs> well, come to rotten. Not the best. Of course, I'm also using this strong paper instead of um, regular printer paper or uh, cardstock. If you want to do this with cardstock, it's even better. This drawing paper is, it's okay. It's good for a demonstration. So there's a cone. There's a box. <laughs> I think you smushed my box. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. We'll make it work. At least I made you six things of tape on this. Cone thing. in a box. There we go. Dang it, I got tangled. All right. So... Hope you have fun making some paper shapes today. Um, Betsy and I were talking about paper shapes uh, yesterday and doing this class. And I think the next thing to do is origami because we'd like to figure out how to fold and do some of this with folded paper. Woo. So um, we're going to try <laughs> learning some origami and see how that goes. Um, couple of the things that I'm looking at for next week, if you, you guys are interested, um, we're going to do a uh, plain air painting tomorrow, but then um, we're also going to try and do, uh, next week I'm going to try and do some bonsai, if you guys are interested in that, I could show you real quickly uh, just a couple basic things about bonsai that you could try on your own. Um, also interested in... Um, Possibly showing you guys a little bit about model railroading. Any suggestions? Feel free to leave those in the comments, and um, also post pictures of your paper shapes. I'd like to see what you made. Um, it has to be better than what we did today. <laughs> but uh, um, anyway, so we'll see you next time. Everybody, stay safe.